Hello, welcome back. So as I told you in the last video, we're going to start with the first habit. So the first habit that I am working on curtailing is to not drink coffee. Um, and I'll just give you a little bit of context around why I, well, first of all, let me start with talking about how I drink coffee. That makes it unhealthy for me. So, um, when my daughter was born, uh, four years ago, you know, we already had a son and I was tired all the time and I decided that, um, I was going to start getting up really early in the morning so that I could have some quiet time. So I used to get up at five and that worked for a long time and then I stopped and well, we can talk about that in a different habit video, but, um, I was like, okay, I need coffee really fast. So we bought a Keurig, um, and, um, it, for years it's been extremely convenient and, you know, wonderful and, um, so basically what happened was I would wake up in the morning and I would, um, I would turn on the Keurig, I would brush my teeth, and then I would make coffee. But I would drink coffee before I had any food. Now, a lot of people will probably say that this is no big deal, and you know, what's the big deal about drinking a cup of coffee before food in the morning? I know that's a norm for a lot of people. But for me, um, my body is having a reaction to that. Um, I've been having a lot of stomach problems. Um, and I have a naturopath and we're working together to try to figure out what's going on and why my stomach is, um, what's going on with my stomach. So, um, anyway, to try to isolate where the problem is coming from, I've decided that I'm going to give up coffee. Those are my kids fighting in the background and don't worry, my husband is home so he will deal with them. Um... So anyway, uh, what I'm saying is that um, coffee for me has become an unhealthy habit in the way that I wake up first thing in the morning and I drink coffee and I don't eat any breakfast. That's that's the other part of this. So I have the coffee, I don't eat any breakfast, um, and a lot of times what will happen is, you know, hours will go by where I don't eat and that's going to be a whole nother habit video in itself, but right now we're just going to focus on giving up the coffee. So, um, at some point I would like to have, uh, my, my nutritionist come on and talk to you guys about, um, how your body reacts to coffee, uh, first thing in the morning, because, um, the way that it was described to me is that, um, the way that it was described to me is that it, coffee increases the cortisol level in your brain. Um, and I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to speak about that because I'm still a little fuzzy on the details. But the point is, is that when I drink the coffee, I instantly start to feel jittery and I just, it doesn't make me feel good. But it's become such a habit that I, I can't seem to stop myself from just waking up in the morning and just going to the coffee pot and making the coffee because it's so easy. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, okay, so we're giving up the coffee. It's not making me feel well. All right. So here is my first cup of tea. So I will let you see if I can get the camera angled. Okay. It's not angling right. Um, let's see. I, I need to get a better camera system. Okay. Well, you can see the little string right there. The tea bag itself broke off. Um, so there's the string to the tea. Um, I'll work on getting a better camera system, but um, you know, this video series is going to be raw. It's not going to be fancy, um, at least in the beginning. So um, it's me on this journey of creating happier habits for myself. And I hope that Maybe, like I said in the last video, if you are someone who also wants to create better habits for yourself, then let's do this journey together. So, cheers to a good morning. I love green tea. Okay. 
um, and have a wonderful day or night. Okay, um, I'm going to go spend time with my family now. Bye.